Hi everybody, how's it going? Mark here with another video and I thought this one I would show some more of my figurine collections that I've got. If you have seen previous video I did, I showed you the new series of figurines that are coming out which is the DC chess collection coming from Eagle Moss every fortnight. Um, now, there's actually three sets out at the moment. One is the classic Marvel figurine collection. The other is the DC Comics superhero collection. And the other one is obviously the, the aforementioned chess collection. They're all pretty good. They all come out once a fortnight with uh, figurines and that. And I just thought I'd show you my pickups for this month. I thought it's a bit, it'll take too long, well, it'll take too many videos to do every single one of them separately and that, so, but I thought I'd show you all what I do, what I get in a month. So, first up, we have from the classic Marvel figurine collection, Arachne. There we go, that's a pretty good paint job on that. I mean, these are all hand painted and all the numbers of well on the Marvel and DC one the issue numbers are actually quite high this is issue number 174 so you can imagine how many figurines I've got with that um, but yeah that's a pretty good paint job on that one the face is pretty good I think sometimes let's go a bit further in yeah sometimes the face can be a little bit dodgy but that's not too bad actually I don't think um, just uh Go down. There you go. And obviously, on the, on the base, you've got the Marvel emblem embossed on the base there. Yeah, it's not a bad one. And on the back, hands do look a little bit. Iffy, should we say, but they're not too bad. But let's just have a look at the hands. Yeah, the hands look a little bit elongated on that of the fingers, I think. But um, other than that, not too bad from a distance. They look all right. So yeah, there you go, that's Arachne. Excuse any strange noises in the background, that's just me putting them back in their cases. Unfortunately, where I am at the moment is quite small. My, my apartment or flat that I have is really small. Not enough room to have two people, five rats, and my comic book collection and everything out. So unfortunately, I've got to put all my figurine collections for the moment away in a box. But, you know, one day I'll have them back out again. <laughs> now then, next up we have issue 175, and that's Mockingbird. Now you see, that's a the face. Not too bad, a little bit. I don't know, it's just ain't not quite right about the face, but it's not still not too bad. There we go. There's the paint job there. A little bit of a splodge just above the uh, the boot there, but I said this is extremely close up. So it, if this was on your shelf, you wouldn't see it this close up. <laughs> there you go. And on the back, I mean the the actual detail on this. I mean if you look at the detail on the hair on this, it's pretty good considering the size of it. There we go. There you go. That is Mockingbird, just on the side there. And from the side there. 
There you go, that's number 175, Mockingbird. Now then, from the DC collection, we have number 107, which is gold from the Metal Men. I can get him out. I do find that they're either non-human faced or you know heavily cowed faced characters are better done than the actual human faced characters. But you know these things happen. <laughs> there you go. Gold from the Metal Men. This is the obviously the DC collection. Uh, from the back. Not much really to be seen from the back really. I'll show you it on this one. There you go, that's gold, number one hundred and seven. Right, next up we have number 108, which is Mira, Aquaman's wife, girlfriend, partner, however you wish to, consort, however you wish to uh, describe her. Let's get behind it in there. Now see, this is one of the ones where the actual face is a little bit off. She's a little bit boss-eyed. You're not quite sure where she's looking. But again, this is an extreme close-up. If this was on your shelf, you wouldn't probably notice something like that. Although, then again, maybe you would, I don't know. Um, so I should put gold back in again properly. There we go. Um, yeah, this is Mira. I mean, the actual detail on her clothing is really good, I think. Here she's coming out of the water. And from the back. And again, the detail on the hair looks really good. Again, the hands let it down a bit. But, you know, we all know hands are really terrible things to try and recreate. There you go. And back up again. And there's there's a close up of her hand there, if you can see that. And it looks a bit like a claw. <laughs> In fact. Yeah. But there you go. Still not a bad figurine. And next, we have number 109 from the DC Collection, which is Robot Man from the Doom Patrol. Yeah, that is a pretty good one. Like I said, the the human face ones can be a bit hit and miss, but the, the non-human face ones are usually really good. I'm not quite sure which incarnation this is of Cliff Steel, Robot Man. Looks like the the last one from the Keith Giffen Doom Patrol. Show you the back. And this is a really heavy one. Because they're cast in metal, 
some of these are really really heavy uh i remember getting a incredible hulk one that you know you need to near enough a forklift to pick it up <laughs> and there you go back up again Now, every three months, I think it is, they bring out special issues for the figurine collection. Some of them are because the characters are oversized. Uh, there was a Galactus one, which unfortunately I don't have. It's, the, it's one of the only figurine collections that I'm actually missing, sadly enough. Um, there's There was a another one... Um, Oh, let me think. Well, this is a, there was a Jonah Hex one, which had Jonah Hex on a horse, which was pretty good. And then there was another one which had doubles. You, you have two characters in there. There was a um, North Star and Aurora one, and a Professor X and the Queen of the Shia Empire. I can't remember her name. But they're, they're ones like that as well. This one here is a special one. And I think if you saw my free comic book day video, You've probably seen the magazine that come with this. This is Swamp Thing. Get it out. Now, sadly, I took this out beforehand and I noticed that the finger's broken on it. There you go. So I'll just come out a bit. Actually, not damaging it. Go in, go, go up. I need a bit more light on it. Do you think you can see the face on that? Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Let's get the focus right. There we go. Now that is a pretty good. Figurine. I can't show you the whole of the head because it's. There you go. Well, I said this is the Swamp Thing one. Well, look at the detail on that. That's just fantastic. Just to get it more centralised. Back up we go. Really nice detail on this. Now, unfortunately, I can show you this. This is the hand. You see, broken finger. So I'm either going to have to try... I've still got the finger in the box, actually. So I'm going to have to try and see if I can glue that back on. Or get in contact with my local comic book shop where I get it from and see if they can pick us up another ish, another copy of this. Preferably without the broken hand. Just go back up again. And the, the detail on the back, you've got all the little bulbs. Oh, that's a bit too close. Actually. You've got all the bulbs and the leaves on the back of this one thing. It is really this is possibly possibly the best uh figurine collection one that i've got if not you know, regardless of the finger being broken um it is just absolutely gorgeous this Show you the detail on the other arm, because this this thing you just got to see everything. <laughs> brilliant, right? We've still got three more figurines to go, so there you go. That is the Swamp Thing. 
pity that I can't get the uh, the face into a bit more light on the face. Is that? But there you go, that's the Swamp Thing one. Hello. Just trying to get back in the box. And now we go on to the chest set. And first up. This is issue five, and it is the Catwoman. Well, it will be as soon as I get back up. And this one's a bit of a tall one, this is, so I'm going to have to really come out on this there we go now again this is one of the ones where the face is a little bit off it looks quite Anime actually, a bit mangerish, but still pretty good. Not that you can see anything like that now. <laughs> yep, there's the base, and she is the White Queen. Really nice detail on that um that angel on that base there. There we go. And just turn it around. And there's a her whip on a wrap around her waist on her back. And on the base you can see the white queen crown. There you go, that was Catwoman. And next up we have, I think it's, this is actually one of the better ones that they've had out for this so far. This is Two-Face, this is number six, and he is a Black Knight. He's holding a gun, he's got the coin in his hand. Really nice detail on that suit there. There you go. On the back. It's a little bit of a Chip by looks of it on the uh, back of his jacket, but you know, you don't really notice that. And there we have the knight emblem, the black knight. It is. There we go. You can see the coin on his face. There's the actual. So if I can get in a bit closer on this. On the detail on his face. There you go, coin in hand. So, yeah, there you go. That's Two Face. And finally, the last figurine, which is number seven, and it is Batgirl. 
And this is the reboot Batgirl. Barbara Gordon, who can miraculously walk now. Not the Stephanie. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, not a bad paint job on the face. Not a bad paint job at all, at all actually. Um, just go down a bit more. And she is the White Knight. Side view. There's the back view. Side view again. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, so there you go. That is the Bat White Knight Batgirl from the DC chess set. So there you go. That is the figurines that I've picked up this month, or shall we say last month in, in uh, April. And I shall probably do another one at the end of May or beginning of June for the figurines that I've picked up for May month, the month of May. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you could uh, actually see what the figurines look like with the uh, the constant focusing in and out, in and out, and everything. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you everybody for subscribing. Please comment down below if you like it. Thumbs up. If you don't like it, then thumbs down. And if you don't like it, put in the comments why you didn't like it. So thanks for watching. Take care and hope to see you again soon. Ta-ta for now.